Can I tell you a funny uh, allergy reaction story? Sure. Um, so we're working in the Amazon 2019, and uh, we got this camera guy. His name's Johnny, right? We call him Boogie. He's got these big old knees. He always wears cargo shorts. Ridiculous looking guy. He's got big knees? He's, he's all knees because he's like got long <laughs> legs, a tall guy. Anyway, uh, we love Johnny. But uh, no, and so I love Johnny. And uh, we're working in this area that has these parasitic wasps. And these wasps, oh. yeah, these wasps are attracted to our headlights because we're working at night. We're doing crocodile work, and um, and so every night we're getting zapped like in the neck and in the face, like one or two, whatever. My one cameraman, Mitch, he has like a pretty bad reaction, like puffy eyes, has to get the epipen, everything. Right? We're hanging out at camp like one of the mornings after everything, you know, all, getting stung up every night. It blows, whatever, but it's not the end of the world. And uh, you hear Johnny, our camera guy, get, hops out of his hammock and he goes, oh, shit. And we're like, look, and he's dancing around like holding his junk, oh, right? no. And we're like, ah, ha, ha, you got stung, you got stung. One of these parasitic wasps flew up his shorts <gasps> and got him on the tip, right oh. on the head. It gets so much better, Joe. Oh, no, it planted <laughs> something in there? No, not quite. But uh, so he's dancing around, he's howling about his dick, and we're laughing our asses oh. off and making fun of him, right? As you do with a group of guys in the jungle on a field expedition. And... Uh, we have this medic named Josh. He's like the calmest, quietest, you know, he's like your typical like military medic. Like he's never going to like get upset or excited because it just makes everybody get upset and excited. Right. And uh, Johnny, after a couple hours, he goes to Josh and he's like, hey, man, like, can you take a look at this? Yeah. And uh, and we're all like we're in camp watching this go down. And we're like, yeah, we got to We got to like just keep an eye on what happens. And Johnny goes around, like sort of around the trees, and Josh is with him. He pulls his pants down. We can't see anything. We just see Josh's back. And Josh goes, "Oh shit!" Like this is coming from the medic. And so we just like burst into laughter. And we're like, "We got to see this thing, Johnny. We, what is it? Like we got to see it, dude, Joe." It looked like a baby's arm holding an apple. Like it was just the head was the size of a softball. And it that big? It was that big. So big. And Johnny was like, "What am I gonna do? Like I'm never. <laughs> penis is never gonna work again." Oh my god. And we're like two days from anything. And so anyway, the medic treated it. He gave it a shot. Whatever, whatever. But just did it work? Yeah, the it, shot did. it did. It did. It, Johnny said it took like three weeks for it to come down all the way. Oh. But it went down the majority of it. That I wonder if he jerked off during. Those three weeks. I'm certain he did. Yeah. Oh my god! Imagine, <laughs> dude. I've never seen anything like it. Imagine if, like, when you nutted, you screamed in pain because <laughs> you're stupid enough. <laughs> uh, I just heard of. I I shouldn't have heard the story, and I shouldn't bring it up. You should. Yeah, definitely bring it up. It, it was like a. T it, it said it was a 12 year old boy sh shoved a uh, thermometer. Ugh. Down the hole while he was masturbating, and it got. You're, you're stuck. right, Jamie. You should not have brought. So they that had up. to go and do a keyhole surgery to get oh it out because god. it would have fucked up the organs. Oh or something my god! Crazy. Oh my god! You <laughs> dummy! What kind of crazy kid is that? What's he gonna go? Just, yeah. What's he gonna be too like when he's like, thirty? Too much is involved in this. He's twelve. He's stuck, stuck in <sighs> thermometers in his dick well, hole. Do you, while we're on the dick hole conversation, do you know about the Kandiru? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how they have to get it out? He, no. Okay, so for those that don't know, so you know make Chinese it boy, 12, <laughs> shoved the thermometer down his... Look at it, like, like how they write thermometer in all capital letters. Yeah. <laughs> down his penis needs it surgically removed from his bladder uh, after pushing it too far. Dude, dude. Oh, he, Jesus. He dealt with it for nine hours. But look at this. Oh, boy opted to insert the object into... He opted. Opted. Ah, he opted. As opposed it's to... It's like, you know, choosing your insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> he opted to insert the object into his urethra. A risky practice. It's risky. It's yeah. called sounding. Ugh. It's got a name, so it's so common. People are so crazy that they're just been stuffing stuff up their dick so it... So many I times they came up with a name for it. Mm -hmm. When it got stuck, he endured agonizing pain for nine hours before seeking help. Chinese medics extracted the tool by cutting a tiny surgical hole in his bladder. Mm. Yikes. It definitely didn't come from any app. I'm sure that idea. Ugh. I'm sure you didn't get the idea from an app. <laughs> from an app? Yeah. Why, why would a twelve year old? Where would a twelve year old get an idea like that? Oh, like TikTok. He's saying oh, it's yeah, a TikTok it's, thing. Yeah. You think so? No, I'm not saying that. We probably <laughs> just go. Well, their TikTok is very regulated. I've never used it. You're right. We're just talking out <laughs> of our ass. It's a good point. Very good point. <laughs> um, Kandiru. Yeah. 
So, so it's, you should explain what it is. It swims sure. up your dick hole. So it's this tiny parasitic catfish in the Amazon. And what it does is it, it's attracted to urea, which comes out of fish's yeah. gills. And it's a parasite. So it swims into fish's gills and lodges its spines into those fish's gills to feed. But this nasty little bugger, because it's attracted to urea, will swim up your urethra. Now, that's, that's, that's all fine and well, if you, if you will. But it has reversed facing spines, so once it swims in, there's no swimming back out. The same spines it uses to lodge into fish gills. Oh, no, that's boy. a lamprey. That's nonsense. <laughs> but um, once it's lodged in, the only way to get it out is to butterfly <gasps> and lift it out. Oh, God. I'm not even going to say it. But How often does that happen? I don't think it's very regular, but yeah. I can tell you when I'm in the Amazon, I'm like peeing back and forth just because I'm scared something will like swim up the stream. <laughs> yeah, when you pee, like, uh, are these people peeing with pants on? I or think like, so, yeah. Wearing shorts Board and it shorts still or... swims up the legs and gets in there? I mean, I think it's just incredibly unlucky, but it's happened a lot more than once. It's it's a, you know, a relatively regular thing. Oh, is that an operation? Oh, look at that Reddit picture. That's not oh, real. Yeah. That's Jesus. not real, but that's fake. But this one is probably. It's, it's oh on its leg, not God, get out this of one. here. Oh, get out of here. I don't want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun show. <laughs> Yeah, everything's trying to kill you. Everything. Everything's trying to kill you. But I go into the forest with a peaceful intention. I am your friend. I'm please. here to wander. <laughs> please, not eat please me. fish, don't swim up into my urinary tract. Plus, I only eat vegetables so they know <laughs> that I'm in harmony. Well, so does a deer, bitch. <laughs> deer only eat vegetables, too. They fuck them up. She's going to be listening to this podcast and be very upset. She, she does not listen to my podcast. I will guarantee you that. Um, she's a nice lady, though. Yeah, she's just kind of wacko. Yeah. But a lot of a 